Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. Been speaking uh, over the uh, recent past since the onset of COVID and everything else to some of the great and the good of uh, music in Ireland. And uh, I've got an incredibly talented gentleman who was uh, born in London. His parents were uh, Irish. His mother hailed from Montgaeltoch and uh, his father from Carrick on Shannon. He, he learned to play traditional Irish music from the legendary uh, Clare fiddle uh, player and master tutor, the late Brendan Mulcair in London. And uh, comes from a family steeped in tradition. I'm delighted to say hello to the one and only Kane O'Rourke. Kane, how are you? Not too bad, Terry, and yourself. Thanks for having me on the show. A real pleasure, Kane. A real pleasure. You uh, you sort of started off at a very early age in uh, in music. Me, I started off. Oh God, what was it? So it was um, it comes from my dad's records, and um, when I was come, I come across Katy Band records. And because um, I was always into um, Mick Flavin and that, and my dad played Mick Flavin. Was it back in the Mick Flavin, Declan, and it, that's all we heard in the car and sixties music and that. But I started going and listening to my dad's um, Katy Band records, and I think it was uh, they had a Tyler Katy Band, and I pulled that record out, and I just, I just latched onto it, and I just loved it. And I used to, so I remember my mum and dad would be watching Carnation Street, and I'd just be with the headphones on, just sitting there listening to Katy Band records and then I just listened to the one record and then I moved on and I found another one Kill for Nora then I was obsessed with this, with this, these, these two records and then I remember I used to um, I used to get a VHS cover <laughs> I say, um, a VHS cover and I used to get a hairbrush and I used to take the, the brushes off the hairbrushes and I used to so it was just like a barrel run stick and I used to copy the the, the the drum rhythms and not knowing actually of what a barrel run was I didn't know of a barrel run I never heard of the instrument it was just I was copying the Caliban rhythms with this with, with this hairbrush. So sort of, I invented the baron in my head, and then I found um, a record of the Chieftain, and then I heard this drum as Bowron, and it, the intro was uh, the Morning Dew. It goes dilly dum, dilly dum, dilly dum, dilly dum, dilly dum, and it absolutely blew my head off. And I thought, oh my God, what is this instrument? And I remember looking on the front cover to Kevin Conniff, the Chieftain's baron, to see how he's holding the stick. And then that, that was it. That was me for the bow. And then I went to my godfather's house, and um, Stephen Dowling and maybe from Kerry. Let's get this right now. Tarbot man, yeah, Tarbot man. And he gave me a bow that he made himself. And then that was me. And I played the bow on. And then I was well. I got well able to play the bow when I first played it. And then I found out from my school book about Irish music lessons. And I said to my dad, "Can I go to these Irish music lessons in West Greenwich House?" Brendan Mulcair, and I turned up with the bow on, and he told me I played the bow on. With, I played the bow on for Brendan, and Brendan said the best thing you can do with that is play it with a pen knife. And he immediately gave me a tin whistle, and then that was it. Just, I, I just took, I just took off with the tin whistle and loved it. And then I choose the second instrument, and then I decided um, on fiddle. And then so that was me starting fiddle then, and that was me. That was my start in trad. Absolutely superb. Then, yeah, absolutely superb. Now uh, you 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 played. Now you 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 moved from uh, uh, London back to Ireland in two thousand and four, uh, and since that you've been playing with some of the, the the top names: Mike Denver, Derek Ryan, Daniel O'Donnell. Yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, so I, so basically, I was in London playing in trad bands. I started with the Dingle Spike, and then I was in Hungry Grass doing the whole London pub pub scene. And um, so I was a traditional fiddle player. And then I moved to Ireland, um, where I music comes from, and I got into country music. <laughs> and then that was it, yeah. So I just I joined Mary Duff first. That was my first country band with Mary Duff. And then I, I, my first gig with, with her was in Frankston and, in Australia. And um, my first gig was with her. And then so I'd done, done about a year with her. And then I got a job on the Irish dance scene with Jerry Guffrey. And then I was with Jerry Guffrey for a year, and then I moved to Feeney, Patrick Feeney. And then I'd done a long stint with um, Mike Denver. So I'd done three years with Mike Denver. And then um, I got the call. I suppose with my Married Up connections, met Daniel Donald was going back on the road, and he started up a new band. And so I'd done a year, a year with Daniel Donald, and um, there's a lot of travelling in that. I mean, it could be six week tours of America. Four or four or five weeks in Australia, yeah, and I saw a lot of the world. Yeah, that was an amazing experience. And then um, baby number two come along, Michael Caine come along, and it was time to be at home. And 
then I saw I actually swapped places with Derek Ryan's fiddle player, um, Damien McGeehan, and he moved to Daniel's band, and I moved to Derek Ryan's band. Right. So I was home. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent stuff, and uh, you, you know you've had you've had tremendous experiences in uh, uh, you, you know with uh, all of the bands. I mean, from the traditional uh, over to uh, you know the Daniel O'Donnell and Jerry Guthrie, Derek Ryan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, you've also now since that lockdown, you've been doing uh, uh, some work on uh, on writing music as well. Yeah, I just just my roots is always trad. That's that's my number one love, and. Um and I was just doing lockdown. That, 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 that's it. That's just, I've got my own studio in my house, so I had time. And then, um, and I never really go out to write tunes. So like, actually, tunes just come to me. I mean, like that, 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 that. Um, I some, I could write them tunes in five minutes, nearly. That's how long they take to write. It's, it's like I can't force it. I can't write. I'm going to write a tune. I can't think like that. They just, they just come to me like that. Like when I wrote the first tune, I, I named Michael Caine, and then the second tune. Um, I was just in the sound check and I picked up the bazooki and I just come out with more or less half the tune like straight away within sort of like sort of 40 seconds. It just come out like. Right. Just wherever I was. Yeah, it, 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 it just come out and then and then I just made a tune. I was just doing a sound check and then I just, and I got the phone and just, and I do a little voice memo and that's it and then that's recorded and then it just sort of, if, if it sticks in my head, then it's a good tune. If I don't, if I don't remember it, it's not a good tune, but no. The, the, that's that then and then um, so I just got going to the studio and then I just come up with different ideas like sort of like um, it starts off with an intro so I'm actually lilting but I'm lilting what the Baron's doing so I'm, I'm, I'm in unison with what the Baron I don't think anyone's done that before and um, so I'm lilting and playing the Baron at the same time and it's just uh, my, my, my whole um, sort of not sort of philosophy or whatever is the word is to to keep music as trad as possible and then go out a different direction. I mean, there's, there's bass in there and there's modern sounds in there, but the music is very, very rooted trad. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And, um, yeah, so... Well done. Well but done. Yeah, but, you, you also... You were involved uh, also in... in uh, you, you featured on Regina McDermott, uh, her uh, incredibly successful uh, version of Valerie. Yeah, that took off. Yeah, that took off really well. And um, we released that around early November. Um, Regina come to me with that song, and I see she she said I want to do a version of Valerie, and someone recommended me because she wanted to try it up a bit. Um, and then she can't, I can't I can't believe it. I got approached with Valerie because um, I do a session, I do local sessions here up in the Grill, talking rap car and around me, and that with this girl called Catherine Sullivan who always sings Valerie, and I always I always do this little riff, or just like a bit of a reel that goes along with the song. And it, was, it never really left the session. It's just what we've done in the sessions. And then, and then she comes to me with that, and I said, "Oh, we have to do this idea. I have an idea for Valerie." And um, and I said, "Would you mind it being like sort of me, me being a featured artist?" Because I mean, I do play. On, I do. I'm a session musician, and I play on a lot of people's tracks. But you, you never get mentioned. People, you, you don't even know it's me. It's just someone sends me a track. I don't even know who they're singing. I don't know who they are half the time. And then I send off my work. And I go. Like even like sort of um, yeah, but people would like not even like Foster and Allen's new album. It's not actually it's not actually released yet, but I'm on nine and uh, ten tracks on that. Okay. So I mean, I'm a session musician for a lot of artists, but yeah, but with with that Valerie, that really took off, and it's, it's still going strong actually because it come up to Christmas then and Christmas songs started taking off, and it took a back burner obviously because people wanted Christmas songs, but then it come back there in February. It's still getting heavily requested. Indeed, indeed, absolutely, absolutely superb stuff. Now, listen, your latest uh, project is uh, an interesting one. The very first uh, uh, single release from a forthcoming album is uh, Dance in the Fourth. Now, the, the, the interesting thing about this is that you uh, you play on this, the fiddle, the bazooka, the whistle, guitar, bowron, uh, keyboards, as well as uh, lilting, and you also uh, produce the single. Oh, yeah, it's, it's totally my arrangement, and, um, and I wrote it, yeah. That's astounding. And, um, just banjo. I've got a couple of friends in for banjo. My, my banjo playing is not. It's, it's, um, it's not up to. Um, even though I'm playing banjo, on, I, I do play banjo, but I wanted um, a, a good banjo player, a really good one. And I've got Karen Dolan in, and I've got Mark Conyard, who actually lives, lives lives in London. He'd be from Kerry background. Mark, he's down in Isleworth. Right. And yeah, so it's, it's all me. Yeah, like most of my most of my stuff is all me because I, I play different 
entrance and that. And I'm just in the studio, so I just the door beside me, so I could just layer them down. Right. That's absolutely yeah, superb stuff. And, uh, you know, it's it's a it's an amazing piece of music because you wouldn't actually in a, in a, in a sort of way think that somebody wrote it because it's sort of got this uh, traditional edgy uh, style to it. Yeah, we need the age. My tunes tend to sound like very traditional. I think there's a lot of problem with, or not a problem, but just a lot of people that go to write tunes today, they 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 make it too complicated, and it's just simple music, like, and it's it's just it's just you know that like the old tunes are always the best, and it's just trying to write tunes like that. Yes, yes. So there's no point trying to overcomplicate things. Just just nice simple melodies. Indeed so, indeed but, so. Um, You've created a real gem there. Now, also the video, I have to say, is uh, is absolutely fantastic. It was, it's, it's actually it goes back to the Valerie song again. Um, uh, the it's a brilliant video producer. It's actually his first ever music video was uh, Mark McGuire. He's from Sligo, just just outside Sligo town, and he done the video. And he he he'd be more from a background of like doing TV adverts and that. And that side of filming, but since since he was a kid, he's always wanted to do music videos. And Valerie was his first ever music video, and then he sort of just latched on, and I started sending him uh, music I was doing. And, and basically, he's he's driving, he's the driving force behind this whole album. And then he went, he said, "What other tracks on the album?" And then before I even got the song finished, he had the, the videos had been done before the songs had been mastered, like even sometimes two weeks before. Wow! And he he's. So he, he, all my next he, all my next singles, all the videos I've done for it, and yeah, he's, and then and then he's there, and he's he's really he's really pushing me really well, and he's doing he's got I've got the whole album work done as well. He's doing the whole album artwork for me. That is amazing. Sort of, and then he's, yeah, and he's gave me a bit of self belief as well, and he's sort of he's giving me great guidance as well. That is superb. Yeah, you no. Know? Absolutely, yeah. superb, absolutely superb stuff. I'll have to say, it's a it's it's a video well well you know well worth uh, uh, seeing. Anybody who wants to see it, it's up on uh, YouTube. Dance in Ooh, the fourth, yeah, by Keanu Roth. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, indeed, indeed, definitely. indeed. Definitely watch it. Definitely watch it. Yeah, indeed. You you must uh, the same as with uh, many other uh, musicians and artists. You you must uh, you must miss playing to the live audiences and uh, meeting the people out and about. Oh, of course I do. Yeah. Uh, no, I know. I, I miss all the live gigs, and then. Um, but then, there's no point. There's, there's no point sort of dwelling on it. Just this. This is the time it is at the moment, and um, it's it's great time for me because I've got two young kids. Indeed. And um, I'm with my boy. I'm with my boy so much. He's actually got a London accent. And he's, <laughs> he's three, and he's going. He's got. A, he's got a full blown Cockney accent. Because, like, Mammy would be upstairs working from home. I'm looking after him because we've got no childminders at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's just me. It, 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 it's about ninety percent of his English he's hearing from me. We're going down the fields, Daddy. We're going down the fields. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh. he's, he's bad. But so that's that, that's. I mean, you've got to take classes out of it, haven't you? Indeed so. Yes, indeed so. It's it's, yeah. it's 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 the time. It's the time that is. Uh, I, I mean, uh, no matter how much we whinge and all the rest of it, it's not going to change things. It's uh, it's just going to take that time where we've we've never been in a better place for humanity uh, as regards vaccines and all that, and we will get out of it. Yeah, of course we will. Yeah, can't change it. That's exact. That's exactly it, Kane. Listen, it's been fascinating chatting to you, and uh, I, you know, it's been uh, lovely to talk. And well done to uh, to you on every single thing you've done, and uh, uh, well done on the, uh, the the single. And I'm looking forward to getting the album uh, when it's uh, released. Listen uh, to yourself and your family. Stay safe and well, and uh, uh, great to chat to you. Oh, can I quit? You have to get requesting for mum and dad. I'm taking a note down in Brighton. I will. No problem whatsoever. There we go, Sam. They have to, they'll be listening. Like they've listened for years. As I was a kid, we were listening to you. Oh, Radio Spectrum. Great. Those were the those were those were the days. Those were the days indeed. Yeah. Listen, Kane. Great to talk to you. And uh, uh, hi, hi to your mum and dad. Thank you very much. Thanks, a million. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.